Hello, welcome to Awakening Butterfly. If you are new here, my name is Mallory. Pardon the background, I'm going to be doing some changes and cleaning and clearing and just really trying to declutter my sp all the spaces and my life in 2023. Um, but if you could do me a favor, go ahead, take a moment, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Check that you are subscribed, ring your notifications, press the bell, turn on all notifications so you're not missing out on anything and everything. Um, if you are coming from my um, uh, Mallory Elizabeth channel, Welcome to the Awakening Butterfly channel, um, where fun and magic happens and meditative moments and all sorts of things. Before I dive deep into the meat and potatoes of this video, um, I want to throw this question out there for you all. Is there anything in particular that you would like to see from me going forward on this channel? Um, I could do more card readings. That sounds like a fun idea. Um, I could use this vessel as a means um, to do private readings of stuff where I send you a link and you're the only one who has it. No one else can see it. Um, so if you want to like book something or do something, or if you have any questions whatsoever, I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, a lot has been going on with my health and that's been affecting my personal and work life. But if you have any questions, um, this is, what is it called? My brain is like officially fried. Um, the comment section down below is where you can leave all your comments, questions, and or suggestions. The description box is a good place to find me on social media. So, and just um, feel free to check it out. But um, on my other channel, I was sharing what I got for Christmas in 2022. And I'm saving the best for last. And I'm saving it for you guys. Are you ready for this? Because I don't know that you're ready for this. But quickly, I will show and share that I got, um, I don't know if you can see that. I got an Expecto Patronum bracelet. Like, that's worth noting. I got a uh, Raven Lunatic Lager. <laughs> it looks like a can of beer but open it up and it's gray and black socks that unfortunately has a rave what is it a raven on it i was just gonna call it a crow um quick little like mention in case you're unaware of my health stuff um, um it does affect my my memory and my brain a little bit so um but all that aside, and all that to say, um, not an eagle. Not accurately representing, but my f one of the things, part of my health, is my feet and my hands are freezing all the time. So even though I do live in the state of Florida, I live in socks all year round, just about like when I'm, in, when I'm home. Because when I'm home, I have tiled floor and it's cold on my feet. So, um, I do live in socks and I sleep in socks. Is that weird? That's who I am. Um, so yeah, socks. I also wanted to share, I did get some like Harry Potter theme um and ravenclaw theme stickers um this is like a little fun thing to note um i did quickly just want to show you i got this cute little br uh, crystal bracelet um i do have two 
advent calendars that I will be opening um, on my Awakening Butterfly Instagram account at Mallory M. Elizabeth. But by the time you might be watching this video, um, you might have missed out if you don't already follow me on Instagram. So this is like a quick plug. I do have three Instagrams, by the way. If they're not all listed below and you want me to do that, let me know. Just like check out the description box. Tell me what's missing, what you need, what you want to know. Um, but I will share, pardon my reach, that I did get three books for Christmas. We have uh, 21 Days to Work with Crystals. We have um, an astrology book and uh, a guide for creating your vision quest book. And this is my formal announcement. I'm inviting you all, and maybe I've done this before, <laughs> but in case I haven't, and if I have, well, then I'm just a broken record. Um, I'm inviting you all to be a part of my Light and Love Facebook group. It's Light and the And Symbol Love Facebook group. I've been doing a lot of stuff on there lately. And I recently created a group chat. And I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff over there in the new year and hopefully more on my instagram and more on my awakening butterfly facebook page and expect some changes on my website as well down the road um and as things pop up um i will keep you all posted and the best way to stay in the know is to follow me on social media so i got something that i saw this, what I'm about to show you caught my eye. This one specifically, there were others. And I was like, oh my God, where is this? How can I get my hands on it? When is it? And it's um, the Wizarding World. There's your little clue, Wizarding World. And I found it. I learned all about it. I watched all the videos, and I knew what day this was going to be released. I knew that I had to have this in my hands and in my life, and I stayed up late, like, learning all about it. The night before um, it was release date, I set multiple alarms. Because I'm like, I'm not sleeping through this. I think it was like a 10 in the morning or 11 in the morning. I'm like, when that clock strikes at the right time, this is going in cart, ship, send, the whole nine yards. And you ready? Or do you want to guess in the comments below what you think it is? <laughs> now that I'm realizing... That I'm sharing this with you because it is so exciting. I don't know if I've shared any of my latest um, Harry Potter. So I got a, a wand um, that is themed after the diadem. Um, which, yes, if you know, you know, it's a horcrux. Um... And I got that online. Now, like my first wand um, that still holds a very special place in my heart. And it is an interactive wand. And I actually got to utilize it um, in Disney's Universal Studios in the Wizarding World. I'm like, oh my god, this is so fun. And then I actually got a diadem. And it's in a box up above, over there to uh, my my right. And I wish I could wear it like a crown on my head, but it's more of a display piece. And it doesn't really fit. So. <laughs> but 
uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, or seen my other Harry Potter related content on this channel, I have been sorted into Ravenclaw. The socks probably gave that away, but if you want to share what house you're in, you can do that down below. But are you ready? <clears throat> Four. This is the Wizarding World Harry Potter Magic Caster Wand. It's the ultimate wand experience. But what is most important about this wand? Limited edition. This is, I, I, I put the app on my phone. I put the app on my TV, the TV in the living room. Um, and I'm like, let's get to it. And so when I was setting this up, I learned that this is, this wand in my hand is wand number 160 out of a thousand. My mom's like, wow, you got that early. I was like, I did. This is a miracle. The universe, like I manifested this thing. Like you wouldn't believe I prayed so hard. I'm like... This is happening come hell or high water. And here I am holding it in my hands. Like, I can't freaking believe it. And so, before we dive much further into said wand, um, there was four total. And without, like, they didn't really specify, but I'm like, come on, y'all, this blue... Right here, it screams Ravenclaw. Like, this is the, um, look, they make it so cute. Like, you know, you got it at Ollivander's. Um, this is the heroic, was the word, to describe this wand. Um, there was like a solid black one. I'm like, that's clearly Slytherin. There was one that lit lit up um, yellow. I'm like, that's clearly Hufflepuff. There was one that was just like a plain wooden looking brown wand. I'm like, that's clearly Gryffindor. And each wand had like a word for it. And so it kind of gave away like which one went with which house, but it wasn't advertised that way. And I am a fan club member, so there's perks to joining because you get discounts on products. When you order online, you get notified about stuff in advance um, before the public. And you also get early access to things. You get fun games and puzzles and trivia and facts and all sorts of stuff. So being that I am, I'm calling myself a fan club member, like that might be a more proper term. If you know, um, you can comment below or you can Google yourself. But basically, I mean, I am a fan of Harry, Harry Potter. Um, and being that I am, and anyone else who also is, we'll just say a fan club member, um, we got access to the wands, I think a day early before the public. And if it wasn't a day early, it was like a couple, it was like hours early, like, um, the best way I can describe that is, like, the, um, extra magic hours in, like, a Disney park. Like, if you qualify, maybe you get to be in the park 30 minutes before everyone else, or you get to stay, like, two hours after the park closes, right? Um, this, like, I, there's so much I want to say, because I really don't want to sound like... I don't know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to dive too deep into my health. But there's no brain fog is a, is a big problem, like a lot of memory things, and I do struggle 
and you might be noticing that so just bear with me um so because I don't remember I felt like it, we got like a day a day ahead before the general public but I also could see it I don't know that makes the most logical sense in my brain but if you want to look it up, feel free, go, out, go ahead. Um, and I remember, if it wasn't later that day, it might have been, it was the next day. It could have easily been both. I looked, and like this wand is limited edition. Um, clearly, it says it on the box. And it sold out fast. Like, I can't get my memory. I can't remember if this was, like, I think they made this one particularly with, like, the fan club members in mind. I don't know that this was, like, a fan club exclusive, though. Um, but obviously you didn't have to buy it. You could have bought any of the other wands. You know, the wand does choose the wizard. Um, and this one landed in my So, the box. Um, this says, included in this box, rechargeable wand, LED motion sensors, um, haptics, I believe is how we say this word, um, and touch sensor, wireless app connectivity. There's a USB charging cable, which I was wondering it must be hiding like underneath the wand. The Magic Caster wand app works with most, most smartphones and tablets. Um, and it's funny how they mention that's not included. Um, and on Apple and Android. And on this side of the box, it says, discover the magic caster wand, unleash the magic in the real world with the companion app. The wand activates multi-colored light sounds and haptics. Um, start casting motion activative spells to unlock the ultimate wand experience. I tried dabbling with this earlier. <laughs> And I struggled, just like I struggled with Wizard Unite. I forget why that game, like, got discontinued. I think that's the proper term I'm looking for. I know there's, like, another Harry Potter-themed game coming out that, like, everyone's excited for. There. Um, but it didn't really speak to me. But when you had to, like, trace with your finger, or, like, a stylus pen on your phone, the different, uh, spells... I wasn't that great. And now I'm like trying to like, you know, Lumos, like do the stuff and um, struggling. Anyways, it's, it's going to take like some, some, uh, a learning curve. Personalize your experience. Use your Hogwarts house Patronus and wand traits from wizardingworld.com. Or you can select your own character profile, oh, profile characteristics. So far, I did Ravenclaw and my Patronus, which is a Fox Terrier. It would be interesting because I was all like through Pottermore, I think. If there was a way to like retake your Patronus quiz, because I'm like, is it really? I want to learn more about that animal because maybe it'll make sense. Um, cast and master spells perfect wand motions for the spell book and unlock 50 plus spells for hours of interactive um adventure challenge your friends to a wizarding duel two wands um and compatible smart devices required for dueling and then what's really cool is this bit over here um, I really want to do the, um, Expecto Patronum and see my Patronus, like, ah! Um, make everyday magical, bring spells to life in an all-new way. 
uh, use your wand and companion app to interact with your smart home light bulbs, audio, TV, and other connected yeah, connected devices to create a truly magical, um, immersive, multi-sensorial experience. And there's some info on this box. And for more information, go to Harry Potter Magic Caster Wand dot com. So, you take the sleeve off your box and this is what the box looks like. There is a little port there to charge, is that what it's called? I don't know, to charge your wand. Um, if we were in the wizarding world, we wouldn't need that. But anyways, in the muggle world, you do need assistance sometimes. The best is yet to, um, begin, happen. Are you ready for the unveiling of my limited edition heroic wand in three, two, one. Like this color. And it plays Hedwig's song. Yeah, the only copyright infringements. But anyway, Hedwig's song, like, it's probably gonna do it again when I take the lid off. But somewhere in here, is a USB charger. This is my wand. So there is a, another little spot right there to plug in the USB charger and it lights up i mean it looked so oh my goodness and you can see right there um so 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 magical like on the photos and online i'm like oh my god like it looks like real gemstones like lighting up like um just pure magic um and they tell you how to like correctly hold the wand and then you do your little spell moves um and then you undo that specific grip and it goes like this with no lights Sometimes when I'm like waving one of my wands around, I'm like, I should be careful. Um, like as in love as I am, as excited as I am, as much as I would have killed to have gotten one from my best friend. Um, they did recently, these things went on sale. I'm like, well, they were a bit expensive, but I guess it kind of makes sense because of the technology and whatnot. And not that, like, my, we live in separate states, so it's not like we could just, like, go play around with our wands all day. She has a 9 to 5 job, and then she's a full-time mom, even though she, um, her husband could help out. And we could play with our wands, but um, I just thought it would be cool to, like, have someone be like, ta-da, you know? Um... And I would have gotten her the one that screams Hufflepuff. Because she's a Hufflepuff. Um, yeah. I will say, though, this is a bit, like, 
cheap plastic and a bit flimsy. I thought it would have been a bit more heavier or sturdier if I am like talking any like negative downfalls. Um, like if this didn't do a magic, I would say I'd be disappointed because it feels a bit cheaply made. But because it does magic, I can totally forgive that. One second ready. So I had to share this with you all. Um yeah, I'm I'm like excited to get to know my wand and to unlock stuff on the app and try things out on my TV figure out how I can connect this to my other smart devices like that are in my home like oh my god it says Lumos ET phone home <laughs> that was magic I did not do that did I Um, man, I wish I knew the, the motion for Knox to turn you off, but, um, yeah, my other smart devices, I want to learn everything and just have the time of my life. And you go, go sleep. Oh, it's going to need to be charged. I figured as much. Is that what that means? This time I'm seeing that. Um. Anyways. Oh, fun. I found the secret hidden compartment. It's the Harry Potter fan club exclusive. We are a fan club. Oh my gosh. I have to share this with you all. Um, the Harry Potter Fan Club exclusive, this limited edition Harry Potter Magic Caster Wand with the heroic design. To find your unique edition number, look on the hair look on the app. And I did my number 160. 160 is my number. Yeah, I'm like still trying to figure things out in my head. Um, there is a little, what is this? Ooh, a little quick start guide. Should I need that? I don't think I will, but I'm going to keep it in the box. And then we have this little hidden compartment. If I can get it out, that would be lovely. The charger. So, I'm going to plug this in and charge it up so I can get to having some fun with my new wand. This is like a decent length charger. No complaints to be had about that. So I will take my box, slid the lid of the box, plop it like so. Take the tiny part and then you obviously you don't have a charging brick you're going to need one and it is a regular USB um, and that is my wand 
So thank you for joining me on this magical experience. Once again, please take a moment to subscribe, turn on all your post notifications. If you enjoyed this video or you want to support this channel, give it a big old thumbs up. Thanks for being here and remember, always stay magical.